Gail Readings, this is Garth R.S.D. Tireless Adventure with episode 11 of Space Engineers for the second time. Anyway, so in the last episode that you never did see ever and probably will never because it won't render, I've rendered it four times in about an hour and ten minutes a piece, and all four times it's just got like huge chunks of missing video. So let's cover what we should have covered last time effectively instead of this time. We'll cover it effectively this time. All right, so they have steering wheels, and not like a steering wheel you drive with, but wheels that actually steer, like left and right stuff. Uh, the wheel controls can be done in the cockpit, configurable welder and grinder speeds, show on HUD feature for blocks. I'll explain more of that later. New inventory filter, join game search box, and hacking is slower. All right, so let's just cover this first thing, Config configurable welder and grinder. Did I say wielder? <laughs> I probably did. Anyways, you go into your settings, edit settings and you can see under advanced that welding and grinding speeds have been put in now I have both at times two right now I think I'm gonna take grindering down to realistic because you accidentally grind quite a bit when you're grind well grind grinding for grind 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 okay so so there those are those two settings you can set those in there that's pretty all right so let's just go ahead and get this kicked off and I'll show you the rest of the stuff the multiplayer version, um, the search block, the search box and stuff like that, that's, that's kind of not really a single player thing, so I'm not going to really discuss that, but needless to say, you can now search for games, I guess. Yes, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Oh, I'm magical. All right, so I don't really know what's going on here. Boom. All right. I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to look away because I got the door system working uh, and the video was kind of long, but that's mostly because that was me derping around for like freaking 45 minutes trying to figure things out. So let me give you the, the premise of the ship before I go into the door. I know you're anxious, but let's give you the premise. All right. This front portion is, is due for a change, uh, a pretty significant one. Um, most of this is pretty pretty much the same however these two engine nacelles uh, I haven't finished that one yet but they're pretty much gonna be the same identical mirrored because it would make no sense to not be mirrored but there's gonna be full uh, four thrusters facing forward for slowdown there's going to be eight now this is each in the cell there's gonna be eight for forward thrust there are two down here for up down or up and these are down so there you go now I did have a few things up front here which I have since removed and I turned off gravity I can't remember why oh see if it was affecting the door um, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up over here and put another conveyor box right there so it's symmetrical I, I, I like it more better when it's symmetrical uh, but this will eventually go away because I'm going to be lining them um, probably one here and one here and one there because I'm going to need a lot of power for the number of engines I'm going to have. This is the cargo box where ships will be. A ship is actually all that will be there. And then up here is the crew area, which is more than likely going to come back a little bit more. I'm seriously considering taking it back a little bit more. Seriously considering it. All right, so that is the interior changes thus far. I still don't have a bottom up front because, you know, well, that's going to change. And this section back here is where the door is. Now, the door is built on a rotor principle. Uh, down here, we have the anchor clamps that hold onto the back. This is actually a small ship that I built and then pulled in. And a lot, well, actually, I built it here and then uh, I backed it away when I needed to add some more, but it's pretty pretty basic stuff. If you don't put a gyro on it and you just put a forward and back engine, you can move it away and back pretty safely without messing up the alignment. So we have three anchors right here on this side and three anchors on here on this side. Now we have two rotors that are actuating the door and these rotors are basically opposite of each other. I'm flying around like a crazy man right now. Now these are mostly aesthetics. They serve no actual purpose other than to seal up gaps. Um, when I actuate this, because because it's um it's an up, it's a little bit slower. Now these right here um, will stabilize. These will stabilize the whole assembly. When it comes down, you'll see these fire 
because it's going fast and this is trying to slow it down. And I don't know necessarily why it does that because there's not a cockpit or a uh, gyroscope on here, but it still does it. This is a second reactor which is currently empty simply so we can access the controls from the outside. That's the only reason it's there. So let's go in here <coughs> to our control panel and we'll see that I have rotors here. Um, open and close and leave me alone. Um, effectively what I did is I set this one up first and I just had this one in neutral. But the one, once I got all these panels in here, the one rotor didn't, it didn't, it didn't really feel like enough to both stop it or anything. There was a lot of torque going on. So effectively what I did is I added them both. I did, I set this one up and I let this one run in neutral. And then I set its upper and lower limits based on where it was when it was stopped. So that was pretty easy stuff. Now, in order to get it to run, you notice it's on right now. So I just hit reverse. Oh, did I, did I do something wrong here? Oh, rotors. I just did the one. So let me reverse it again. Hit rotors and then hit reverse and you'll notice that it pulls it shut. And it comes up and it contacts. Boom. There you go. And because these are what contact, there's not a lot of bounce because they're kind of designed for braking now, which is very convenient. So then we just come in here on the control panel. Uh, we hit uh, lock closed and we just lock and boom, it's done. Bob's your uncle. And you can see if I get right up along here, you can see the green and green. So the, they are indeed locked. Now, the thing here with this, I'm going to go, I'm going to actuate this, the open from outside so you can see. But what you're going to see is you're going to see those engines fire. And I'm going to try to get this out of here as soon as I can. So let's go back into here and unlock. And then we'll hit rotors. I'll hit rotors and we'll hit reverse. Now you see I'm firing. Before I put those engines on there, this door just wham slammed down so fast it was ridiculous. Now, these you can actually watch them turn off when they get to the bottom. See how they turned off there? That it eliminates the bounce the whole nine yards. <coughs> and the back is open for me to fly into. The only concern that I have, the only concern that I have at this point is in all honesty, whether or not I'm going to be able to get enough power to power all these engines. Now, they're all small engines. There's no large thrusters on the ship. I am thinking about incorporating one, but I don't know yet. Um, I'm thinking about putting it up top because it's kind of bland up top. But effectively, what we have here is a functional cargo door. Now, you can see I've got the gravity turned off right now just to make sure that it wasn't affecting the door in a negative way. But you can see how fast things actually weld now. See that? Look at that. It's just ridiculous fast. Which, and this is only times two. That's it. It's only times two. So which is really handy. Now, um, as soon as I got this done, uh, I started thinking about usages for the, uh, for the new wheels. I'm going to get up here before I die to death, because uh, nobody likes to die to death. I like to die until I'm almost dead and then stop. But uh, I started thinking about the wheels, and I was like, man, there's a lot you could really do with wheels, you know, especially since they have that friction option, which would allow you to kind of almost do like a plate where you could use the wheels to roll it back out of, out of the way. And since you can control your wheels with your WASD, you know, you could set the wheels so that when you push forward, they drive forward. I'm using my hands because you can totally see me right now. But they drive forward, of course, and since the wheels are locked in place, they just simply slide the thing back. The problem with that is now you have a loose plane of armor in your ship. But that in, is, in essence, what, uh, what they could do. Because you could have like a wheel here and a wheel there and totally just drive this back opening up the bottom. You know what I'm saying? You could totally do that drive it drive it back totally drive it i think it would be pretty awesome yeah but the problem is and you have like contact friction you have to lock it in place when it's open lock it in place when it's closed so there'd be a lot of stuff going on what i can't wait for is a switch so you can say when you know switch x is contacted do y which is an algebraic equation for cool stuff where x is cool stuff and why is stuff that's done when cool stuff happens. You see? Yeah, so it's a, it's a lot more better than uh, my initial thing. 
Now, in the video, I just built this frame. I built, I, I basically took a small ship option right here. I don't even know if I have the stuff in my inventory. Oh, I already, oh, I don't need that. But uh, a small ship like that, and then I just hit escape because I'm a noob. But you hit, I hit, a, I hit it again. <laughs> small ship. All right. And then I just basically placed it right here and built off of it. That's exactly how I put this together. And then I built out that way and that way and then up. And that is how I gauged how big the door needed to be. And then when I needed to add more stuff, I put the uh, cockpit and the two engines on it forward and back. And I just backed it up, added what I needed to add, pulled it back in, and locked everything down. So it was pretty, it's pretty easy, pretty cut and dry. Um, some of the configurations that I set up in here, you'll see um, under rotors, I have the torque and the braking torque pretty good. Now, the braking torque doesn't really matter until you turn the rotors off because I have a limit on up and down when the rotor gets to that point it simply stops driving there's no torque for it um, which is why I was getting some of the bounce instead of turning it off and letting the braking torque take over I was just simply running it to limit so it would go down and then bounce back up I don't know if you can see my mouse pointer but yeah there you go and you'll notice that these uh, landing gears are different colors these are the ones that are connected via the rotors so these are always going to be locked they will never be unlocked these right here of course are the ones for uh the top top one and top two and uh that's pretty much it i mean it's pretty simple it's pretty cut and dry stuff so let's just watch it close one more time um let's do it from outside so you can see uh, yeah like the only reason that i have this other second reactor is so i have one of these that's the only reason. So go to controls, uh, go to rotors, and we hit Weeburst, and you'll see that it goes up pretty slowly. And the, the reason that it doesn't just crash through that is because these things are designed for braking now. They didn't break before, they do break now. So that's good. If you come over here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, in the top, you'll see right here, brake force. They Landing, landing gear will unlock automatically when force is applied, but they now kind of absorb shock as well. So that's kind of in, in, inherent in the new design, I believe. I could be wrong on that, uh, but there you go. So once we get it closed, these are going to be windows, by the way. Probably going to be a little bit bigger. But once we get it closed, we just simply collect lock, close, and lock. Boom, and we're done. And uh, it's locked up top. I could even turn off the thrusters if I wanted to, but like with the little bit of uranium I have in there, it's like 23 days, so I think I'm good. I think I'm good for a while. But long story short, that is my cargo door system, which worked out really, really well um, once I figured out that I was an idiot when it came to rotors. So basically what I did is I just turned this one to neutral and set this one to run it with just a frame. And then when I got it full up, I locked this one to uh, upper limit or lower limit because it's backwards. And then when I got it full down, I locked that one to uh, upper limit or whatever the opposite of one I said before. So there you go. So it looks pretty good. I like the way it looks. I'm seriously considering leaving it like this. And uh, once you get inside here, you can see why I was putting those aesthetics on because there's a little bit of a gap here uh, and a little bit of a gap down here. A little bit of a gap over here. I did have this stuff up top. I did have one more angled piece right there, but it stuck up so far that the door wouldn't open. So I took it down. So there you go. I mean, that is, in a nutshell, as clearly as I can put it, A1, number one, completed. This is the cargo door that I will be using from now on. Now, if there was some way to magically, you know, send a signal, this is what I want, all right? guys who make space engineers or i think it's keener studios or something like that i would love an option to take one of these i'll show you uh i would love an option to take one of these and drag it to my hot bar and set it up with on press and then have a drop down box on on toggle off or you know, on key press reverse. You know what I'm saying? I would love that. That would be awesome. That would be the best thing ever. If you could, that would be super. That would be super amazingly epic. Like, just drag it down and put it on there. So you'd be flying your ship and you want to open your doors, you hit one. Boop! And you're done. Actually, that was Q, not one. 
But yeah, you just hit one and you're done. One and done. Just like that. Bazinga. I think it's beautiful. I would love it. The fact that the fact that it's it's gonna happen now because I asked for it makes me so happy that I think I'm gonna throw a party. But long, long build. Long build. Lots of welding. Um kind of depressing like somebody actually referred to this game as the welding simulator 2014 and i thought that was hysterically accurate now some people have said to add some fighters to this thing and i think that's a good idea however comma there's nothing here to fight so what i you know and just that one little comment i'm gonna you know as a matter of fact i'm gonna pull it up because i want to give this person credit where credit is due and uh I honestly think that this is probably, in my opinion, one of those, what do you call them, um, inspirational comments, which make me want to do something else. Not in, the, in lieu of this, but in, possibly in addition to. But he said, maybe add a few fighters, a fighter ships. And what about double vertical bomb bay doors on either side of the ship? And I thought, you know, that would be pretty cool too. Um, the downside is, of course, now with the engine nacelles, I can't do that. However, however, I think it would be amazing and a great idea if I were to get a couple of other baggers um, on here with me and we could kind of do like team-based builds. You know, build the base in creative, build our ships in creative, and then go into... Uh, survival and actually have it out and and just basically see who wins you know what I'm saying I think that would be cool with with the uh, with you know the objective of possibly having you know destroy this reactor we're only allowed to have one reactor in our base and if that gets destroyed we lose you know what I'm saying or last man standing obviously would win there you go mmm I think that would be a great idea so I appreciate it, Black Wolf 340, for your excellent comment, which got my brain a working. I would like to do the uh, bomb the the vertical doors, and I could do that. I could just basically mimic this same thing on the other side and have I could actually create a little bit of a clamshell that way, and it would be you know open up that way. But uh, like I said, now that these nacelles are here, um, it's not really going to be an issue or not going to be possible. So. Um, I don't mean to give you a short episode, but like I said, I spent an hour shooting the previous episode. I spent f almost five hours trying to render it so that it would actually work. And um, I got very frustrated with it. So it has been gone to the garbage can, which you guys may refer to as the recycling bin. But when I was a kid, we didn't recycle anything. We just threw it away. We hated the world and everybody in it. That's how we rolled. But up here, what I'm going to add is... Um, couple of merge blocks because I remember I said this is gonna be a rotor merge block build and uh, there's gonna be two two reasons for these merge blocks there's gonna be a, a merge block probably right there and a merge block right there with a connector in the middle and what that connector will do it will allow me to attach to the base and transfer fuel transfer whatever I need into my ship or transfer out whatever I have um, the second reason for that merge block scenario is I'm going to build a cargo pod which will attach to the top which will have possibly three three larger um, containers in it so it'll hold more cargo so if I need to go a long distance or whatever now I know a lot of this is in survival so it's kind of like um, you know it's all for fun and I'm never really gonna probably go anywhere since there's nowhere to go but other asteroids right now but I do believe that they plan on implementing other destinations into the game eventually which will probably wipe everything that we've made and we'll have to make it all over again <laughs> i would love you forever so um the ship is probably i would say at about 60 percent right now um i do have to finish out this nacelle and the other nacelle uh rework the bottom area here which is probably going to come out or come up just a little bit because as it stands right now it has to come up a full two to be even with these aft gear. So the aft gear is going to—it's going to be a tripod gear. So they're going to be two up front and two on that side and two on that side. So it'll be a, a little triangle there. So I call them tripod gears. Um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited about this build so far. I got a couple of ideas. Of course, we got to line up the new um, reactors and everything. And uh, I figured what I do with the rest of this episode is show you guys. Um, my idea for um, 
doors using wheels because I think it I, th I think it'll work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jump over to a creative map and we'll have a look yes I want to save of course I want to save I did work <laughs> silly question so we're gonna go with a new world custom world and we're gonna go to a creative world and I think uh, lone survivor should be fine uh, let's go into advanced and we'll do realistic welding and everything up to times five uh, no thruster damage cargo or yeah, reset ownership and we'll just get rid of that too and it should be good so let's just go ahead and give it a shot and this is basically going to be my idea for a cargo door when a distinguished but elderly scientist states that something is possible he is almost certainly right when he states something is impossible he is very probably wrong <coughs> all right so the first thing that we probably want to do is go into here and uh, toggle the ownership to everything I hear to me hey. yes I do so now that it's all me you can see that it's white it's actually kind of white with a bluish tinge but um, let's take off over here and we'll do a new small ship or a new large ship and I'll just drop that right there and um, go out five that way and of course four that way and then we will turn on our symmetrical builds yeah I don't like the fact you have to go all the way through that but uh, <clears throat> here's what we're gonna do we're gonna test this theory out so we go all oh I meant to hold control when I did that we go all the way back here like this and we're going to just assume that the rest of the ship exists okay okay and um, I'm gonna come out there like that I think I think this will work but like I said I haven't I have yet to test it so let's go to G we'll get to the new wheels are right here uh, one by one the three by three and the five by five we don't want a one by one or a three by three or five by five so what we want to do is we want to cut this around like that that wheel cannot be placed okay so there's the wheel hmm this may not work as well as I wanted it to hmm, let's try this oh no yeah I don't like you at all yes I want to delete you because you're stupid goodbye and goodbye so let's put you back on there <clears throat> because I totally screwed that up it just totally flew apart on me but the concept that I want to do here let's see if I can get it done this way oh that's not what I wanted to do this is what I wanted to do we're gonna test it out and see if it works We want to pull this and this out. Yes, that is what we want. Shut up. I, I did it on purpose. And then we put the wheel down. We got to put one more here. And then we put the wheel down. Is, is that a wheel? Yeah. Let's see. Can we put the wheel down? I don't think we can. We got to go out one more. Six boom wheel cannot be placed see that's the problem it sticks down into the ground like that hmm that's probably not gonna work it's probably not gonna work hmm all right well let's try something alternate here which may also work I could have swore I told you to quit that uh, what we can do with this is create our railing And this shouldn't be a problem. It'd be a little bit more bulkier. A little bit more bulkier? A little bulkier. That's just all I needed to say. I didn't need all those other words. So let's go with gravity generator and a thingamabobber. 
So we'll put that there, and we'll put the gravity generator right there. And then we do this. And then we do a new small ship. We'll put it right here. Put it right in the middle. Just like that. Ah, right, come on! Whatever. I don't even care anymore. <clears throat> and then... There we go. And we'll effectively have... A ship that goes all the way across that way. Oh! That was almost bad. Oh, I'm in creative. Never mind. And then a ship that goes all the way across here to there. <clears throat> and then I can fill it in. Just like that. All right, so that'll be our door, as it were. Uh, let's do this. get some get some vessels going here so we got forward back down up left right and then we'll just put this on there We're totally gonna test this out now gimme give gimme give it's gonna be a lot of fun that right there. Now we need a gyroscope right there. And then, of course, we turn that back on. But we need to get in here. Unlock. Drive it. Why isn't it going up? Oh. <laughs> I was like, why aren't you working? I'll tell you why you're why you working. Because I'm an idiot. Everything needs power. Boop. All right. Now we got power. There we go. All right. So now we can drive it up. Jump out of it. And put a few more of these. You can do it. All right. I think we're going to want to torque it a little bit and bring it out even more. Yeah, let's do that. Let's 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 torque it out straight. All right. So we're gonna just turn it to the side a little bit until those line up, and then we just shift to this side a little bit. Let's see if we can go down yet. It's probably go out quite a bit so let's do that let's turn off symmetrical building we'll come over here and we'll just go one two three all right three works so we want to go from here to there perfect all right, now underside here, we want to put, let's see if we can do that. Put one there. Oh wait, I want to put, I want to put my uh, symmetry back on. So I put three on that side. Hmm, that's not gonna work out. Cause see, it comes over here. I'm off the chart over here. So we need to scoot it over. Hmm. That's going to be rough. Uh, I need to turn the symmetry back off then. So we're going out three from this. Just working this out. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we go three on that side. We were 
four in, three back. I thought I turned that off. <sighs> turned it off. Alright. Three, four, one, two, three. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to, let's raise this puppy up. It's easier to work that way. There we go. Yeah, it's always easier to work when you got plenty of room to fly around and jump. So, one, two, three, in, four, in, one, two, three, back. And then we come over here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then we come up front on this side and do it again. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Uh, uh. So this is pretty much what we're going to be doing. We're going to be working with that. Now, I, the reason I dropped those down is because I want to use the three by three wheels. So effectively to do stop it there we go Oop, that boom all right boom got that and stop it down there we go boom got that and then Boom, got that. All right, so what we are going to have to do is bring this back quite a ways. At least as far as that is. That's that's the downside. That's the downside of it, obviously. Let's get on this thing. Alright, so I need to scoot that over a little bit. Oh yeah, and the wheels stick out just a little bit. It's perfect. Let's get in here. Wheels stick out just a little bit too much. That's not perfect. Poop! Let's try it this way. Nine. Okay, that's much better. That's much better. Uh, uh. Yeah, that'll work. Much better. We're working this out together, you and me, because we're, we're a team. Stop it! Be a team, right? You know what I'm saying? All right. All right, so now we get over here again. We're going to get it into place. And you're like, but Garth. And I'll say, no but. It's not time for butts. You just want to shift it ever so slightly that way. It's okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. And that's a, notice a little bit of bounce there. Oh, snap. I should have thought about that should have thought about that but I didn't so let's just put there you go come on now and the gyroscope so now it should it should not bounce like a crazy lady because crazy ladies bounce. I don't know if you're aware of that, but they do. All right. We're going to... I don't have a... Do I have a gyro? I don't have... Why don't I have any... I have a gyro. This is... This is... Gyroscope is on. Why can't I roll? 
There we go. I can only roll a little bit. I can barely move. What's going on here? The wheels might be an issue here. Let's let's check that. Control panel. Let's just turn them off. Now it shouldn't have a problem. Still can't still can't turn at all. That's really weird. That is really super weird. Alright, that's what we had to do. <laughs> that was ridiculous. That was very hard. Alright, and then we just simply take one of these right here. And just let's pop it down rough roughly the center. Perfect. Alright. Then we get in here and we gotta turn our wheels back on. Uh, let's turn the wheels back on. Don't want any steering. If wheel is propelled, yes. Alright, so let's give it a shot. It's overload. Oh, I can't. I don't have enough juice on it. That definitely shows up as a problem. There we go. Now we have plenty of juice. Is it moving? I'll talk to you later. Just wait, okay? Uh, maybe I need to put one of these up front, too. Ah, okay. So now that might help. Alright, so are we, are we able, able to drive on it? We are able to drive back. That's pretty cool. It's definitely it's definitely working in a way that is conducive. Now the downside is you have to drive the door. But you see how that works. That opens that totally opens that up. Totally opens that up. Alright. Yes. So we might be putting this into practice at a later date. I just gotta figure out how to do it this way. Let me try. Is this thing moving away from me? It is. Because of those two gravity blocks. Which is kind of what I was looking for, but not to that extreme. So let me show you this. Uh. 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 And you're like, what are you doing here? And I'll, like, I'll explain to you in a second. See, effectively what we have with the rotors, and I think I've covered this before, is the rotors have a little bit of a gap on them. So why can't I put that there? Might have to go out one more. Let's go out one more. Four. There's something in the way. Yep, that's what it was. So this would keep it from popping off. That, that's effectively what would happen there. You see what I'm talking about? That is pretty much... I might have to put a few more up up engines on this thing. I don't even have any up engines anymore. It is totally it's floating away. You see that? It is totally floating away. <laughs> okay, so artificial blocks do cause a problem. Let's try... Did that work? Boom, stopped it like a rock. Look at that thing. Alright, but anyways, as you can see, uh, the science of it does work. 
and this would keep it from bouncing around and bouncing out and stuff like that. And then you could put um, a locking mechanism on the front and a locking mechanism on the back. We could drive into it. I think that would be a great idea. I think it would totally work. So give me your feedback on the on the, the cargo door on the main ship and give me your feedback on this as well. I mean, I'd like to see this put into practice and I may do that. The, my only problem, my only downside right now is the weekends are super busy for me. Super duper duper busy. So yeah, I'm, I'll get to it as soon as I can. But give me your feedback on these two things that I showed you and uh, we'll call this episode a close. Alright, I appreciate the crap out of you guys and I'll talk to you turkeys on the flip side. See ya! <laughs>